Gambarian versus Sonen. Alrighty, right to the action. Shale Sonnen trains with Team Quest out in Oregon uh, with uh, former UFC light heavyweight champion Randy Couture, former heavyweight champion Randy Couture. He works with guys like uh, Nate Corey, Chris Levin, Dan Henderson, Matt Lindland. This guy comes from a really, really extensive background of top, top, top trainers. Well, they've got a great up and coming team out in Team Quest. Oh, and he is a very good wrestler. Chil Sonnen was an NCAA top ranked, ranked wrestler. Sonnen is known for his wrestling, and here we go, get the takedown right away. Our man Gambarian is a top submission guy, considered one of the top submission guys out of Russia, so he's comfortable here and he should be able to work well from his back. Gambarian's just looking to control his arms, prevent himself from being struck from that position. Hips are looking to escape his hips back to guard again. Son is known primarily as a ground and pounder, so look for him to probably stay in the guard for a while, pound out a little bit, and look for his opportunities to pass. But he's not known for passing too, too often. Chael is usually very happy working the ground and pound. He's very strong, has an incredibly good base with his wrestling background, and is very effective from this position. He's fought some top competition as well. Uh, he's fought uh, Trevor Primley, who we'll see later on this evening. He's fought some top guys out there, so he's very experienced as well. And Barian seems to just be hanging on at this point. He could be looking for a stand-up. I don't know if either of these fighters would be too, too interested in uh, staying standing up for too long. Both these guys are known for their ground skills. You can see there, Arnold, that Gambarian would be trying to free his hips, escape to one side, and Sonnen does a great job of just simply following that movement, staying centered inside of his guard and working the ground and pound. No doubt a product of uh, working extensively with the likes of Randy Couture and uh, the rest of the people at Team Quest. Well, they have some incredible wrestlers at Team Quest. Lindelin himself took a silver medal in the Olympics. Oh, beautiful clean shots there from Sonnen. Gambarian looks to be in a defensive posture here. He's let the close guard. He's trapped Sonnen's right arm. Um, not too much offense can be mounted from here either, so. Sonnen wants to stay close. Oh, wow. man, Sonnen is teeing off beautiful here. Beautiful shot. Passes to the side mount. Almost. Oh, it's going to be very to get hard to get a single leg on a wrestler, the quality of Sona. Gambari needs to regard here. Sona's doing a very good job at controlling the position. Some hammer <laughs> fists there. Some very annoying. We saw him slip the right knee over Gambarian's left arm and uh, trap the arm there. Shades of Carlos Newton versus Matt Hughes here. Oh, he's, he's laying a lot of Wow, he's here. taking a lot of punishment here. He can't stay here too long. He needs to get out. There you see the wrestling pedigree. Gambarian is having a little bit of trouble getting out from underneath. Uh, no doubt when uh, Shale Sona is on top of you, it feels like a thousand pounds on top of your chest. Well, Shale's in a great spot here. Gambarian is on his back here. You've been in this position many times as well. Uh, what could Gambarian do to get off his back? Gambarian is going to need to hip out, escape his hips, get his knee back underneath Sonnen, work for a half guard, work for guard. He needs to do something to stay away from the side control position. Sonnen is so strong. 
Uh, another option is to pop to your knees and try and shoot in, but that, that may not work with someone with the wrestling skills of Sona. Absolutely. I don't know if you want to try to shoot in on a, on a wrestler of the caliber of Sona. There's his Sona raining down the knees. Nick has got to go back to his, his jiu-jitsu, and he's got to uh, work those knees. All right, the end of round one. That round was uh, one definitely was a Sonnen back. round. Absolutely. So Sonnen 10-9. Ten, ten there you see uh, one of those top guys that we talked about. That's Dan Henderson, pride veteran Dan Henderson. They're working his corner here and giving instructions. Well, at this point in time, I think Sonnen's executing the perfect game plan. He's uh, in dominant position on the top. He's raining down a lot of punishment. There you see the takedown. He's very quick at his takedowns. I'm kind of surprised Gambarian uh, came out with a late kick there. It's not always the uh, best thing to do against a wrestler. Wow. Ladies and Sony teeing off. He landed some very clean shots there. The hammer fists. <laughs> see him covering the mouth and then hammer fisting with the opposite arm. And here you see the crucifix position, or semi crucifix position here, trapping the arms and then hammering the face. Good job by Sonnen. It's a very discouraging way to end the first round for Gambarian. Gambarian needs to take the fight to the map, but get on top. We haven't seen Shayla Sonnen work too much from his back, so I think Gambarian wants to find out how good he is. Sonnen with a nice low kick. And right in again for those legs. Got the front head lock here. Yeah. Well, I guess guard. we're going to find out how good uh, Shea Sonnen's guard is here pretty quickly. Dan Barron is a ground specialist. Oh, and he's already climbed his legs up. Beautiful job of... Looking for the arm for a second here. Oh, he's kept his guard open. He's gone for an arm bar. Wow, I'm very impressed with uh, guard work here. Very good. Very Back nice to transition to attempt. a triangle choke. Oh, but Gambarian gets past in his side control. Sonnen is just working his way there up. There he goes. Works his way back and right back to the top position. Beautiful reversal. Exactly where he wants to be. I think they're taking a little bit of a breather here. They're kind of bound up in the corner a little bit here. They'll have to get pulled out. They'll restart at the center of the ring. Look at Gambarian get up very, very slowly. But he's a smart fighter, Arnold. He's going to take uh, that extra few seconds, catch his breath. He is in a bad position. He knows he's going to need some energy to get out of there. That just shows some good ring experience. Referee getting them all set up to where they were prior to the break. Gambarian has an arm. He's trying to look for a, a key lock here for Kamora from the bottom. Back to Let's guard. See if he's able to finish here. He's got the arm in pretty deep. That is very, very deep. Uh, Shonen could be in a little bit of trouble here. He's got the closed guard. What can Shale Sonnen do here to defend the key lock? He needs to just keep posturing the way he is. If Gambarian opens his guard like that, he, he can pop through it. But he is doing he's doing exactly what he needs to. He just keeps that posture out the arm and look to loose arm out. Well, it looks like the arm is popped out here. And he's not in danger anymore. Just slow down a little bit here. It looks like both the fighters are uh, fatiguing just a little bit here. Maybe take a little bit of rest and they get ready to explode. You said earlier, Chael looks very, very comfortable inside of someone's guard. He's very content to, to stay there, uh, body, body, head, work those forearms in the face, basically maul his opponent. Shale Sona actually works really, really well from the cage. Uh, this is a ring, so we'll see how he works from the ring. The ground and pound is not quite as effective in the ring situation because you can't plant his head against the cage and uh, 
um, so that the opponent doesn't have any head movement. I know Team Quest does a lot of training up against the fence. Absolutely, they're experts at working in, in the fence. But Dan Henderson fights in pride and he works with the, the, the ring as well, so. A little smother there. You're seeing a couple of very experienced fighters here. They've got a lot of ring savvy. They'll take every little trick they can to tire out their opponent. The action is definitely slowing in the second round here. Chael looks fresher. He's landing some good combinations, some good leg kicks. I think these guys are standing a little flat-footed here. Here you hear the crowd chanting, USA, USA. See if that pumps up Shiel Sonnen a little bit. Well, again, Barryman dropped his hands there for a little while. A sure sign of fatigue. Neither fighter wants to commit to the uh, a new attack. Chael seems quite content to stay on the outside, pick apart the legs of Gambarian. He's been very effective with his leg kicking. Wow! Oh, Gambarian gets a couple of a wild shots. Left hand. Well, Gambarian oh, needs to open up here a little bit because he is behind the scorecards and he eats one at the end of the round. <laughs> Good action to end the round. That was a much closer second round. Uh, who did you give that round to? Well, it's a tough one to pick. I, I'd have to throw it into Sonnen's corner. I think uh, Sonnen edged out the round there. Um, I'd definitely give it to him two rounds to none, coming into the third round now. So um, I think again, Baron really needs to work it right now to get the win. Sonnen was very, very aggressive with his jiu-jitsu while on his back. Absolutely. I was actually quite surprised and impressed by that. Sonnen is not known for his uh, jiu-jitsu work, but uh, he did very, very well against the jiu-jitsu man and almost trapped him in a triangle, as you can see there. Well, he has some incredibly talented teammates. Wow, oh, then you see the looping left hand. hand. Wow, barely missing. Both those shots just snuck past. All right, the third and final round. I think Arnold is going to come down to who wants this the most. I think Gambarian needs to win this fight by uh, submission or knockout here because I think he's behind the cards two to nothing, I should say. You know, two very tired fighters. See what a minute did to uh, restore their gas tank. Sonnen back to those leg kicks. Wow. Gambarian ate a left hook there. Back to the clinch. Both these fighters look very fatigued here. Seem to be a little stalled in the corner at this point. Yeah, I'd love to see the referee step in and uh, possibly uh, separate from here. Well, they've been getting a bit of a break here. I wouldn't be surprised to see the ref break this. You see the red discoloration on Seal uh, Sonnen's right leg. And the foot stomping here. Gambarian, I'm surprised he isn't a little bit more motivated here. He needs to get something going here because he is behind the soap cards. Gambarian's working a little bit there for the takedown. Sonnen was doing a good job at uh, fishing under and, and stopping that. Both men showing the signs of the fatigue that they're feeling at this point. Yeah, I definitely think the ref should at some point step in here and separate the fighters again. Gambarian needs to do more. He's definitely behind the scorecards. And there we see the ref stop the break. Right. Gambarian is looking excessively tired. Sonnen coming on strong. Nice flying knee there. Sonnen looks to be the uh, better conditioned athlete here today. He's definitely the fresher of the two, Arnold. 
again, Barian needs to get oh, something together. And there's that wrestling again. Here. Nice slam takedown by Sonar. And, and we're back, back to, to the same position. Control. Gambarian needs to get his left arm out from underneath Shields on his right leg, and he does that. But in the meantime, he took some shots, and those shots are going to add up on the judge's sword card. You've got to think that he's behind on all the cards in every single round. Sonnen pretty much have his, has his way with Gambarian when he gets into this cross-side position. His position from all of his wrestling is just superior from this spot. So he's dropping the knees into the body, maybe trying to loosen up uh, Gambarian's hold around his head. Um, Gambarian's basically just holding on here. No offense, no attempt to uh, get back to the regard. Gambarian needs to do something. He, at this point, he's, he's offering no resistance at all. So is simply having his way with him. I wouldn't be surprised to see Sonnen go for mount, rain down some punishment here. There's not too much going on here either. If he continues like this, you have to expect that the referee may step in again. Unless someone's advancing position, Arnold, or, or doing damage, the ref should get in there and, and get these boys stood up. Nice knee. See if those uh, knees uh, soften up his, uh, his tight hold around his head. And the crowd is counting. One minute, guys, one minute. There we go, one minute left in round three. Arnold, this pretty much has been Sonnen's fight. Absolutely, you have to think that he's ahead on all the cards, uh, probably 30 to 27, um, even though this round is not quite over yet. Gambarian has been offering little in this round. Uh, I don't know what he's thinking right now. At this point, fatigue may be too much to overcome. For the inaugural show, the uh, MFC has, has been wonderful so far. They've put on some excellent matches, good, good matchups. Very, very good matchmaking by uh, Miguel Iterade. This has been a very, very entertaining event so far. Um, I expect to see uh, more and more events come out from this and mixed fighting championships in the future. Ten seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Well, we still got a couple fights left to go. We do. Sonnen seems to be content to just ride out the rest of the round, and there we have it. And this fight is over. I don't think there's any question in my mind who won that fight, Arnold. I think Sony definitely won the whole fight, 30-27. Uh, he got every round, in my opinion. 30-27, um, yeah, no 10-8s. But I definitely think that uh, once you leave it in the judges' hands, anything can happen. Well, we expect that Sony should get the victory here. Once you leave it in the judges' hands, you never know what's going to happen. And I was really surprised to see that it was Sonnen who seemed to be more aggressive in the jiu-jitsu. That we didn't expect. I think Sonnen was more aggressive in almost every aspect of the fight, as we see here. Um, he was a little more explosive in the stand-up. Uh, you know, there we see him with the flying knee. A little more with the ground skills. He was more aggressive with the takedowns. You can see the big takedown here. Nice. Well, on paper, they, they came in relatively, relatively even with the stand-up. Obviously, Sonnen was a better wrestler. But on paper, Gambarian in his jiu-jitsu should have um, put up a much better struggle than it did. You didn't see it on this night. And there we go to the center of the ring to see the decision. Gambarian definitely looks a little dejected. Another big victory for the USA. Uh, Chael Sonnen definitely deserves that win. He did uh, did everything right for the victory. The scores of 29 to 25, you definitely have uh, two-point rounds there too.